So I leave in three weeks time um, and the current plan is to fly to Canada then flying to Mexico. So once we fly into Mexico we'll make our way um, down the east coast of Mexico and then all the way down to Guatemala obviously stopping on the way um, and then we're flying out of Gu Guatemala City so we'll probably be in Central America for about a month and a half maybe. Um, we, so from Guatemala City we're going to fly to Bogota, Bogota in Colombia. And then we hugged the coast of South America and finished in Santiago, Chile. So just went to the bike shop to pick up a bike box, which you can see taking up my whole car. Um, yeah, so just asked them if they had any leftover um, boxes from when like, they got new bikes in or whatever. And they just said, yep. So they gave me one of them and I'll pack it up, get some bubble wrap in there, um, make sure it's really nice and supported and I'll have a way to carry my bag. So I just went and got my yellow fever vaccine, which you actually need to enter um, certain countries in South America. So it was one of my most expensive vaccines. It cost me um, $220 with, I think 100 of that was the doctor's fee. So it was about $120 just for the vaccine. Um, and then you get this little booklet, which um, you have to show every time you enter a country where it's like mandatory to have the vaccine. And it basically just says, I just dropped it on the floor. <laughs> So it basically just says like the date, um, what batch number it is, where you got it, etc. And then it's also got space for any other travel vaccines that you want to put in. So pretty um, handy thing to have and I can't actually get into South America without it. So um, yeah, good that I got it even though it was expensive. Just off to the train station. <laughs> he doesn't want to be in my video. Um, going to buy a tent, a sleeping bag and a mattress today. Hopefully anyway. Getting the train to Melbourne. You're spending a lot of money. Ooh, Dad's spending a lot of money. Maybe. Just walking through the streets of Melbourne, going to Packing Light. It's really busy. No! And just test packing. I laid out kind of not everything, but a lot of the things that I know that I definitely want to take. Um, and I did it, I still got two weeks to go and I did it now for the fear of reason I just um, encountered. So I feel like I want to bring so much stuff and that I need so much stuff. And I've packed maybe not even half of it and my bag is full. Like, I mean, people do it with carry-on. I don't know how. Ugh. Like, I want to bring three pairs of shoes. Like, where do people put shoes? I need sneakers, hiking boots and thongs if not maybe like a pair of sandals like what do people go out in oh this is so stressful i believe i had to pack for like two months max at a time and that was all in one climate so trying to do it for six months with stuff that i need on a bike camping gear and then across multiple climates don't do it guys it's a trap hey so there's two days before i go and Dad, who just ran away because he doesn't want to be filmed, is going to help me set, um, put my bike in a box and pack it all up. So I'm going to show you how horribly we fail at doing that. Packing the bike up. I put the that bike in that box. It's really nice morning, it. if you want to see. I feel Very we should pretty. take the Aldi one. Challenge number one is how to get the pedals up, and this is Jad's ingenious idea. <laughs> There's a screwdriver on there, but we can't get him up. Hmm, okay. Give up? Yeah, <laughs> at least I knew. Yeah. This is not an easy way to do it. I don't know if it's the only way. Hold it. But it's pretty funny. Do you have to push that? Yep. Or here. So you're going to be taking that one. No, this one. Just do it. So the bag, the bike is getting packed. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I won't pack that in there. I'll just carry that on. Hey? I'll just carry it on the no, plane. No, you'll fit it. This is the, the bar. Be tight, I reckon. Dad's doing a very good job. Woohoo! Dad's an absolute machine. Woohoo! It's all packed up. And he's taking it a lot. Woohoo! So, um, halfway through packing, it's actually going remarkably well. So, we have um, stuff that I'm going to be taking on the bike, and then stuff that I'm not going to be taking on the bike, which isn't as much as it probably should be. So, that's the stuff I'm not going to take. There's just like, um, so that's like warm summer clothes that I won't need. Um, water purifier, some back charges for South America, coffee and that kind of thing. And over here, which looks like a lot, but I feel like it's not that bad. It's done pretty well. Um, that bag up the top, where is it? There, is um, clothes. So that's just got clothes in it. Then there's like a bath bag, my stove and cooking utensils. There's a, looks like a lot of undies, socks and bras, but I do have seven of each. So probably went a bit overboard there, but that's okay. Um, that is my tent, sleeping bag, liner, mattress... Um, pillow, shoes, sneakers, and then my tent pegs are there. Um, and then this is the bag I'm taking. But obviously I'm not going to take that on my bike, so I'm leaving that at my friend's house and just taking this stuff with, which is going to go in that lovely bag. I'm going to put all the camping gear in that. It's quite big. Um, and then carry it on the bus. And this is my day bag, which I'm still in the process of packing. So, woo! This is mum. She's been helping lots, haven't you, mum? Hello, yes, that's all we've done all day. Pretty much, oh, we went to yoga and then we bought last minute protein bars. We did. Shop. We did. Priority. Packed and unpacked and packed and put in little bags. Have you had fun? Put in little bags and wrote it all down. And <laughs> so, one did you want me to write it all down? But I think it's been quite It was useful. a good idea. I'd do it, A little bit of a list. Yes, I think so. So then we have to do the reverse at the other end, don't we? Woo! Woo! Just got off the plane. Um, it was delayed an hour in Melbourne. So now I've missed my connecting flight to um, Vancouver. And I'm just waiting to get my bags because you have to transfer your own bags. Um, so I'm just waiting to get my bags and then I've been booked on a flight that's three hours later. So it means I'll have less time um, to see Zoe but at least I'll still get my Greyhound bus hopefully. Um, I'm just going to have to try and get in contact with Zoe because I don't, I don't have any Wi-Fi or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm just waiting for my bags. My bags and my bike. I'm so excited. I thought it was going to be repeated in a pool and then I wasn't going to have luggage, but I've got it. And now I have two hours. Well, I've still got to go through customs and then I will have two hours to wait for my next flight. Awesome. Welcome.